What's up guys, Frugal BC today talking Algorand governance. This is the last regular Algorand governance period, probably forever as we switch to node consensus, which uh, originally they were talking that was gonna happen in this quarter. We should be in it now, but it looks like it's starting probably next year. A lot of people are saying the this is the last one, but we're gonna look at what that means, what your options are gonna be. We're gonna look at all about Algorand governance, kind of a short update on today's Frugal BC. By the way, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit the like and subscribe button. As you know, you don't have to smash it. You can actually just press it gently and it works just fine that way too. We're here to bring you the, the news in crypto, the truth, and uh, you know, not sugarcoat anything. When stuff is bad, we say it's bad. When it's good, we say it's good. You know, Good, bad, and the ugly, everything in between. And we do the experiment. We tried things out, uh, especially our DeFi experiment uh, has been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty eye-opening, I think. So check that stuff out. Also, we have channel memberships for $1, so go check that out. And you can get these videos before anyone else. Also, we are brought to you by non-fungible domains. That right, that's right, if you want that .algo address like me, mine's frugalbc.algo. Far easier to use than all those complicated letters and numbers that you'll never remember. And you can get yours today. Just check out the description below uh, for non-fungible domains. Go check them out. But otherwise, let's get onto the show. We're talking Algorand governance, and you know I have not been a fan of how governance has worked. I think most of the things that you vote on are pretty inconsequential. I don't know what the point is, and I found it just doesn't work very well. I don't want to lock up my algo to earn like a few percent when I can be earning like crazy APYs doing LPs. And even though there are some problems with them, and you know you've seen my stuff, you know I've uh, I've highlighted the issues with them. Uh, and permanent loss is a real thing, and if you're not careful which tokens you choose, you definitely can lose your shirt. But that being said, uh, the daily gains I'm making from, from my LPs on Tiny Man are far better than I would ever make in governance. And frankly, like I said, the votes I just don't find very compelling. I haven't found it very interesting. XGov seemed like a huge cash grab. I'm super disappointed in how XGov worked. It mostly just seemed like people getting money for themselves. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I have not been a fan of, well, there's too many proposals for one. You have no way you can do your due diligence on all those proposals. So I'm really, really happy about Algorand governance, switching over to the, the incentive program, switching over to running nodes. Now, you won't have to run a node. This, this is a really important point because I think a lot of people might be confused on this. You won't have to run a node yourself. You can, and it's probably the it's probably going to make the most money if you just run your own node. You need 30,000 algo to do it, to stake it, to run your own node and get incentives. And I was looking today, I'm like, would I be able to do that if I wanted to with my existing? And if I, if I closed all my LPs, um, I, yeah, I'd easily have enough uh, 30,000 to do it. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, maybe I will. Yeah, maybe that'll be what I do instead. Who knows? But running a node, it's not, um, it's not super easy. It is easy, but if you have the right computer, I, I've, I struggled with it. So anyway, yeah, let's look at governance 13 here. Yeah, so we're currently in period 13. Um, there's less than a billion algo staked and we got, there's a lot more time left. We got three days. You can still become a governor within three days, almost four days. It's three hour, three days, 23 hours, 17 minutes as I record this, which means far more than three days, even if, if you're watching this, unless you're watching this several days later. Um, the rewards are only 16 million, 16.9 million algo. That is very, that's far less than in the past. And uh, only 13,000 governors. We've seen numbers much, much higher than this. But a lot of it is because the big, like folks finance and Masari are having liquid governance options. So that means that means more people are taking advantage of those which just make it a lot easier than governance now i'm going to talk about some of the problems i've had and i don't know do they have DeFi this time um some of the problems i had was you know i don't want to just stake my algo when i can do so much more with it on lps i think that's more useful i think algorand recognized that challenge and so what they did is they added they added a DeFi platform where you could you could uh you could basically stake your LPs. Now, here's the problem that I found is that it's very, very easy. You can't, if you do this, you can't touch it. <laughs> so you can't, you can't do daily or even weekly, um, uh, what's the word? Reinvestments, basically. You know, so you get, you can't collect your rewards and then reinvest it because it knocks you out. I got knocked out of the last time I tried governance that way. I got knocked out and I was like, well, how did that happen? And I realized the only way 
the only way possible was because, you know, I had to take, I wanted to uh, reinvest my profits back into my LPs. So I'm not going to like sit there and not do that for three months. That's, that's leaving like crazy money on the table. Of course, I'm not going to do that. So I, I just think this was a disaster overall. Plus, like I said, the votes to me have always been like, they, they, they've always said, they say like vote on changes to the protocol, but it was always such minor stuff. It was always such, such in, in, inconsequential things. A lot of it was like, well, do you want us to give 1 million in awards or 2 million? It's like, who cares? I, I don't care. Uh, 2 million, I guess, give us more, whatever. But like, this isn't stuff I want to vote on. So I'm really, really excited about, I'm glad this is the last period. And it sounds like XGov. XGov, the next step in Algorand governance. XGov pilot program started July 2023 and is approaching its conclusion. This was another disaster, in my opinion. Um, I, th I thought it was pretty pretty useless. It mostly seemed like people making cash grabs. I mean, you saw just some of the most ridiculous proposals on there, and they would get. And there was a way to game what we found. Um, and this this all came out about six months ago, maybe a year ago. I think it was this spring. I think it was this spring. There was a way to game the system where you could basically use it to get money for your yourself just by staking the right amount so because it was you know it was weighted so you could you could basically vote yourself some money and it's it's ridiculous so i'm not and this is the last session of the pilot phase apparently they're going to launch a new xgov platform in july um i assume that means next year but i don't think there is a new one otherwise anyway i want to talk about so i thought i thought there would be more on the node consensus but medium or uh, sorry folks finance really put together a pretty good guide so let's just kind of read through this a little bit uh we've officially entered algorand governance period 13 this one is especially significant it's likely one of the final governing periods for the transition to consensus rewards and like i said i'm i'm actually surprised this didn't happen already uh, they were talking talking October, so maybe maybe it's going to be more like early next year. It's been it's been going on for a year, but you know this stuff takes time. Uh, is everything you need to know on track for period thirteen with G Algo? And don't forget X Algo, the new standard for liquid staking, is live and easier to use. So they're they're going to be doing liquid staking, which is what. So remember how I talked about. Remember how I talked about you'd have your way of you we wouldn't have to necessarily run a node. This is what we're talking. This is one of the options. I think a lot of people, the, the foundation is going to be supporting this. The foundation is going to be providing a way for, from what it sounded like, from what I read, they're going to be providing a way for people to stake to LPs. They're going to be supporting that ecosystem where you can stake to, uh, you can stake to a node, to someone else's node. Uh, like a lot of other, a lot of other cryptos work like this. You know, I've been doing this in Cosmos for a really long time. Uh, it's like 13% and you just don't do anything. Uh, you just have to leave it alone. So yeah, here's all the, uh, and this was on the governance page too. Uh, period started 30th. You have till October 7th. So that's coming up. Oh, I'm sorry. I, t I take that back. Um, till the 14th, you can commit. Um, so we got a little time yet. And voting opens November 27th. Period ends at the end of the year. And yeah, it usually takes till January 7th. So about seven days after the end of the period. Um, these questions come up all the time around the end of Algorand governance, although I don't get them as much because I don't think people are participating as much or they're just going right through folks or Masari, one of the two. Let's skip, let's skip ahead to, yeah, uh, what's next? The future of governance and consensus rewards while the Algorand Foundation is, is preparing to move towards consensus. 13 might be one of the last chances for you to participate in governance. Uh, but consensus rewards will streamline rewards for securing the network with XAlgo already live. We're excited to help you transition smoothly into this chapter. So XGov, X, XAlgo is sort of their token for liquid staking. Uh, so even as we approach the final governance period, XAlgo is leading the charge into liquid staking. XAlgo, you can stake your algo with just a few clicks while keeping liquidity available for other uses. So that's the that was the model they used for um, for the regular governance, and that's what they're going to be doing now with XAlgo for uh, for consensus. Instant liquidity, the value of your staked algo remains available for users use via XAlgo, giving you flexibility and control over your portfolio. Once you've staked with XAlgo, there's no need to manually restake or recommit. Yield will continue to accumulate. So yeah, I mean, they're going to make it really, really easy, but... I would keep an eye out when these uh, keep an eye out for when these options become available because folks, I think they're going to need to take like some profit. So what you're going to be doing is probably trading like some security, trading some ease of use for some APY. And for a lot of you, that might be great. You know, that might be one of the easiest options. Set it. You don't have to think about it. Although usually staking to nodes 
and other platforms is usually pretty easy. Now they all take, well, I shouldn't say they all, sometimes you see 0% nodes, but a lot of them take like a little cut, but you're still getting like, you know, like I said on Cosmos, I'm getting like 13%. So, and you know, for, when you just set it and forget it, like I don't mind, you know, it's, it's like if I'm doing the work of governance, then I want a little more for my time. And plus the, there's such a one little mistake and you're out of governance, you know, and this is, this is going to be, I think this is going to be less, something like that is less likely to happen. So we'll, we'll, you'll keep an eye on that. We'll be following the consensus node, but yeah, for this, uh, this period, still regular governance. And like I said, I just, uh, haven't been a big fan of it. I, I know I take some flack online for it, that's okay. You know, other people can disagree. I just, I tried it out and I always tell you the truth. I tell you my, my honest opinion and my honest opinion is I thought it was pretty useless for me, from my perspective. So that's my opinion. Uh, you guys can decide for yourself if you want to get involved in governance period 13. Uh, my favorite source, Algorand Stats, which used to give you kind of up-to-date APY. That is, that's, I think that shut down a while ago. The last, the last governance period they have listed is governance period 10. So, and I was in, I was in on the first one, by the way, uh, very first one. I just didn't like and, you know, I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. It's the new thing in Algorand. And now it's, uh, yeah, I haven't participated in I, most of them. I'll be honest. I, I think I did the first three or four and I started to feel like, yeah, this isn't really worth it. There's better things I can do with my algo. So that's my take. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know what you think about governance. Are you going to participate or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, check me out on Twitter at BC underscore Kowalski. That's me. Or you can just search for Frugal BC. You'll find me. It's got the little, uh, I'll show you and just show you really quick. This is me. You got uh, Frugal BC. You'll see the little, uh, little reporter guy with the, the microphone. Someone made that for me. Very cool. And uh, that's my logo there. So yeah, we're trying to grow our Twitter account. So keep, uh, follow us there. Otherwise, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Otherwise, stay safe out there, guys. I think you know we're right. The bull run should be right around the corner, and better times should be coming. So, keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, I'm Frugal BC. Stay safe, and I will see you in the future.